I'm going to show you how to make a really simple electric bow instrument. It's just going to be using stuff that's be lying around in the house, you know, rubbish mostly. Uh, you might be able to make this for almost nothing. That's what we're going to do for the next few videos. So what you're seeing here is this is my interpretation of an electric diddly bow. Now what is an electric diddly bow? It's basically just a single stringed electric guitar if you like. Uh, now don't assume just because it's got a single string this is not going to sound very good because I can assure you it's going to sound really good. Now the pickup we're going to make ourselves out of an old phone charger. So I'll show you that in a second yeah. And we're going to have some neodymium magnets so we're going to have some powerful magnets on here these are really powerful these neodymium magnets so we're going to have a few of those those are the only things that are going to cost you any money really because you will have to probably buy those uh, so you've got an old phone charger lying in around in the house a basic preamp now the preamp is just going to consist of a transistor and about four or five resistors and a few tra uh, capacitors it's going to be really really simple and uh, into that you can just plug a lead into that and plug it straight into a a normal amplifier any old amplifier will do so uh, really that's the whole instrument so you got a uh, this is going to be this is important that we use a metal steel string here so you might want to try and find someone you know who's got an old guitar broken guitar string will be fine yeah so you've got a gr broken guitar string won't cost you anything and we'll use that for our string and a plank of wood so let me just show you these some of these parts I've sort of got already this can be your uh, plank of wood so something like this doesn't have to be exactly like this uh, I've just this is a bit big to show in the camera here but you know, that's uh, about three and a half foot long and it's uh, about uh, two inches by about six inches but you know it doesn't have to be that this big at all it can be a, it can be half this size really but that's the only one I've got lying around so I'm probably going to use that now for the phone uh, transformer, really, really simple. I mean, you're bound to have an old mobile Nokia phone transformer or one of those old transformers, it doesn't matter. I've got loads of them. I'm sure most people have got loads of them sitting in their attic and that. So here's the one I just stripped apart just earlier. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just put it back together quickly so you can see what's in here now. So what you do is you take these apart. Now if you're lucky enough, like I was, to have one that's got screws, this had uh, security screws, but you can easily get, you know, uh, some bits for, you know, they don't, you know, if you've got a good screwdriver bit, then you'll probably find one that fits. If not, you can e you can easily get an old screwdriver. You don't want to muck up a good one, or a chisel, and just very very slowly work your way all the way around. Very very slowly, do it do it slowly, and eventually you'll be able to wedge that apart and just break the plastic. But very careful, do that because you don't want to damage what we're going to show you now. So inside all of these mobile phone chargers is a transformer and they're all going to look very very similar to this in fact they nearly all look like this so here you got a transformer okay so we're going to be using that and that is going to be what's called our pickup for our diddly bow now I'll explain how that works in a minute but uh, that's the piece you want it's uh, it just looks like that it's got a big iron um, casing around it and then you'll see these coils in the middle and you'll see some connections here there's two coils there's a secondary what's called a secondary and a primary well we don't need to use both those coils we'll be just using this uh, primary which has got the most windings okay make sure the wire's not broken when you've stripped it apart so that's the bits you're going to need so that bit is really the most important bit now with that bit you're going to then also to give it more strength because there is a magnet in there but it's not very strong so we can multiply that magnet many times what you want to do is you want to get some of these neodymium magnets now these are not really ideal for this and I've ordered some bigger ones and I'll show you those when they when they come yeah because we'll actually be using but for the time being I'll just give you a rough idea how this is going to work by using these small ones it still works with these uh, but uh, the bigger magnets are just easier because I've got, as you can see, I've got about 10 here all joined together. So it's a bit fiddly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to distribute these onto this mobile phone transformer here. And then I'm just going to 
I'm going to even them all up a little bit. Be careful with these magnets, because if you get them trapped in your fingers, they do hurt. <laughs> that is how your pickup's going to look. So you can see here in the diagram, this is the same thing. We eventually glue these down so they don't move at all uh, onto this metal. Just a bit of Bostick will do, or super glue, anything like that. Not really important. This is just a, a bit of a toy, really, but it does work really well. Uh, and then we'll, in the wood, we'll make a little holder for this so it just keeps it still. And then you can see in the wood we'll have a, a pole here and a screw on this end and a screw on that one. And that will be our string. Uh, our steel string which will be a, a bit of uh, from a guitar and we'll tune that uh, you know you might have a tuner or you might you might know someone who's got a tuner or something you don't need to tune it you can just tune it by ear if you want just get someone on go on YouTube and find someone who is playing the note of G and just adjust it until it sounds sounds the same tone and then you've adjusted it to the G and then once you've, once you've got this tuned to G then you then you can uh, start mucking around with it. Once you've got this on there, you'll connect the two prongs here to uh, to the preamp. So we're gonna we're gonna show how to make a preamp, and that is really easy. So that will be in one of the other videos how to make the preamp. Uh, the leads will go to the preamp, and then a plug will go inside to the preamp into an amplifier, and uh, then you can start playing this uh, bow diddly, and it's quite fun. So that's what we're going to be about to do in the next few videos.